A treasure hunt like no other, celebrating the discovery of unidentified stones that thousands of people here believe are worth a fortune. I hadn't seen or touched a diamond in my life. It's the first time touching it here. I hope this will make a difference at home because we're really struggling, so I hope things will be better. Armed with pickets, shovels, buckets and a great deal of determination, entire families have travelled from across South Africa to the small village of Kwaklati to find their share of what looked like cloudy stones. The search began last weekend when a herdsman made the first discovery, a large crystal-like stone. That sparked what has been dubbed the Diamond Rush with thousands of people joining in the hope of securing a better future. This means our lives will change because no one had a proper job. I do odd jobs. When I returned home with them, the family was really overjoyed. Some of those digging are already selling their finds, hoping to make quick money with a starting price of $14. This will really help the community. We hope crime will come to an end, especially crimes against women, because the youth do all these things because of unemployment. South Africa's economy has suffered for a long time, with millions of people living in poverty and unemployment rising to a record high of more than 32 percent this year and crime rates are soaring. With the highest rate of COVID-19 infections in Africa, the government fears the rush of more than a thousand people could help spread the virus. It's asked them to leave the area and has sent a team of geologists to find out if the stones they're all clamouring for really are precious diamonds. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.